Oh, there. We have 38 attendees. Hello. Good afternoon. If you can hear me, please type. Hi, Nina. I can hear you. This is Nina Mendoza. I'm co-hosting Jomar for this event or webinar. Wala pang chat. Okay, here's Jomar. And narinig niyo Angelo sa likod ko sa simbahan. Um, hindi mo makita yung chat room? Okay, ano, Nina? Oh, there. It's there. It says, um, Nikki, hi, hello, where? I see Marivy, Claudia, Edward, Onabs. Hi, Divine. Hi, Mark. Thank you. Hi, Onabs. Okay. Where's Via? Uh, how... How do we pronounce her name, Bia? Bia. Okay. Bia. 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 Bia as in si Bia nang mula sa puso. <laughs> Ayan. Hi, Ronnie. How's Saudi Arabia? Hi, Misty. I like your name. Hi, Faith. Good afternoon. Hi, Mon. Hi, Joren. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Rowan. Hi, Daisy. Hi, Judy. Hello. Good afternoon, Marge. Ivy. Okay. So we're just waiting. Oh, there you go. Veya is here. Veya. No, she's she's an attendee. That's not the right way to join. Hindi, hindi. Veya, try to open your link sa Gmail mo. Sa Facebook mo, I sent the link again. Oh, it was, that was an admin link eh, yung kinlink mo kanina, Veya. Hindi yun. Webinar jam is not mobile friendly. <laughs> According to Divine. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. While we're waiting for Vea, um, I would like to ask kung sino yung mga nandito kanina sa webinar. I mean, who was here? when we discussed Asana and Toggle integration. Um, if you're here, kanina 10 a.m., please type, I was here. Pag hindi, okay lang. Good, good that you're here now. Because we have um, very good tips and tricks from Vea. She's going to share powerful WordPress tips and tricks. Hello, good afternoon. We have 57 attendees now. I'm Nina Mendoza. I'm co-hosting this webinar with Jomar Hilario, and we're just waiting for Bea. Hmm. Okay, dami. Hindi pa kwento ng Nina yung nangyari nung talk nyo. Just tell the story about your talk ninyo with Anna. Oh, last Saturday. Okay. Um, last Saturday, Anna um, invited us to talk, me and Shawi Cortez. Um, actually, tatlo kami, but um, Shawi shared the work-life balance. And then ako naman, my topic was about how to advance in your virtual career. So um, it was a professional summit. We have attendees from jail management of Bataan, and then we have yung mga nagmamasteral ng nurses. We also have some employees, government employees. The talk, I was, ano, um, I was scheduled for 1 p.m. Kaya lang na traffic kami in NLEX. So it's good that Shawi was there. So nauna yung topic niya. I discussed about, yun nga, how to advance in your virtual career. I shared about six tips. And then I shared my story 
um, how I became a VA from from ano from my former work, <laughs> my life, my previous life, call center life. Yun. Happy, saya. Ang saya-saya, Jomar. <laughs> ang sarap ng araro. Grabe. Sabi ko kay Ana, Ana, ang sarap talaga ng araro. Cookies, promise. Uraro. Uraro Ura, yun. Diba? Hindi, araro. Nakalagay. I'll share it. I'll share my screen so you can see. <laughs> Wait. Video. Ayan. Try ko lang, ah. If you can see. Hero, araro, o. Oh. Diba? Araro cookies. Can you see it? Okay. Ah. Uh. Ayan. Talaga, talaga binush, no? Okay. I'll, ano na. Okay. Yon. Ang sarap-sarap. Binigyan kami ni Ana. Tapos, ano. Okay naman. There was a feedback na someone, um, sabi niya, di daw niya alam na pwede daw palang mag-work sa bahay. <laughs> Yon. Nagulat lang siya. Tapos, si Shawi, very, very good yung ano. Ang ganda-ganda ng topic ni Shawi, yung work-life balance. Um, how you can disconnect, to connect, yun. Nag-share din siya ng, um, you said this, how to disconnect, to connect. Ang um, share ko lang, mabilisan. Sabi niya, um, merong mga tao na, for example, merong event or gathering or magkita-kita kita yung friends and family. Tapos, most of the people, nandun sila sa cellphone nila or tablet. So you have to disconnect from from mga gadgets so that you can connect with people. Um, one of the things she also shared was kapag matutulog ka sa room, um, ilayo mo sa yung cellphone o yung gadget, you disconnect again from those gadgets or from other things so that you can connect to um, yun, praying before sleeping or reading a good book. Connecting with, for example, if you have a spouse, then you can talk instead of, you know, texting or browsing over your phone. So, yun. Hi, Bea! You're here na. Hi! Oh, there. We have Bea. So, um, Bea will talk about um, the powerful WordPress tips and tricks. And then, mm -hmm. we'll have Q&A after her. Okay? So, take it away. Okay. Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. This is Vea. I am one. I once, once upon a time, I was a student of Jomar under VA 101 in VA Summit, and um, I used to be a I used to be a marketing officer for a bank in the Philippines when I decided to pursue a virtual career. So yun nga, I enrolled to one of Jomar's um, seminars. I also followed one of his. Uh, a few of his webinars and then from there I started my own journey as a virtual um, visual virtual assistant now I am a digital marketer on the side and I do full-time hosting and singing so today I'll be um, teaching you how to create your WordPress website create a simple website using WordPress because I think lahat tayo meron tayong assignments sa VA no? lahat ba meron ganun? Not sure if lahat meron, pero just the same. I yes. hope this will help lahat you. Meron. Lahat meron. Lahat. Okay. Yes. Okay. So Thank here. You, okay. So first, I would like you to log on to WordPress.com. How do we do this? Do I share my screen with them? Yes. Correct. Okay. Oops. Wait a minute. Okay, there you go. Okay, so everybody go to WordPress.com. And then I want you to, the, the next thing to do is to cre click on Create Website. I think you'll just be um, taking down notes kasi hindi nyo ata pwedeng gawin ng ginagawa ko siya, right? So, just take down notes while I do this. So, go to WordPress.com, click on Create Website, and then on the site address, decide on what you want the name of your site will be. Kaya nga site address. So today, I choose something weird. Siyempre, kung pipili kayo ng name, dapat something related to you. Much better kung pwedeng related dun sa craft nyo. Like me, I used to have uh, my own site for digital marketing. I called it Digital Runner. 
And I also have my personal website. I named it veyalim.com. So, pwedeng related dun sa craft nyo or pwedeng yung pangalan nyo. So, for this, I'll create something weird para walang kapareho. I'll make root beer toast. Ayan, wala siya. And then, click on create your site and continue. And then, from here, just um, key in the important details that you have. So, your email, root beer toast at gmail.com and then your root beer toast and then password okay and then click on next step okay so here ang first step is to choose a theme the theme is how your website will look like so pili ka lang marami dyan pwedeng merong may bayad pero for now we'll choose something that is for free so pipiliin ko itong hexa just click on it and then okay if you decide to have your really your to, if you really decide to have your own website na meron kang sariling domain you can choose among the options here so babayaran mo lang yan 18 dollars sa na si rootbeertoast.com pero kung hindi naman because we will just use it for our assignment pwede ka nang mag no thanks na lang so ibig sabihin no ang magiging pangalan ng site mo rootbeertoast.wordpress.com Okay, so for here, syempre gagamitin natin yung free pa rin, select free. Okay, so we're here now. Ang una natin gagawin is to start your first post. Okay, start your, start a post. Click on start a post. And wait. Okay, start a post. Pwede natin siyang pangalala na first assignment. Okay. And then, i-publish mo muna because I'm going to show you something. Publish, publish muna natin just to show you that we've started something. And then, you can go to the site, my site, click on that. Okay. So, ito yung back end ng site natin. Papupuntahin ko kayo sa WP Admin. This is what we call the dashboard. Okay. Ibig sabihin, yung website mo, yung isura sa likuran ng website mo, kumbaga yung kitchen ng website mo, ito yan. Okay. This is the dashboard. This is where we are going to customize everything to make your website look nice. Okay. First up, pupunta ka sa... Sige, papakita ko muna sa inyo itsura ng website, ha? yung current itsura niya. So, here, go to my site, go to view site. So, ganito siya, root beer toast, ayan siya. So, balik tayo doon. Yan yung itsura ngayon ng website natin. Balik tayo doon, WP Admin, balik tayo sa dashboard. Here in the dashboard, I want you to go to customize, sorry, to appearance and then Customize. Okay. So, ayan. Makikita mo na. Ito na itsura ng first page ng website mo. Ito yung theme mo. Hexa. Custom design. Click on that. Actually, no need for this. Sorry. You go to site title and tagline. So, ito. Root beer toast yung nakalagay sa taas. Pwede ka maglagay ng tagline dito. Kunwari, virtual... Career Journey. So, andyan siya ngayon. Yan yung parang pinaka-title mo. Pwede mong tanggalin yan, pero syempre, better kung nandyan. Para yan yung pinaka-branding mo. After that, colors and background, you can choose. Dalawa lang naman pagpipilian mo eh. Pero depende sa theme na pipiliin mo. Pero for this one, dalawa lang naman yan. Either cream yung likod or white. So, for this, pipiliin ko yung cream. Okay, there you go. And then, Heather image. It would always be better to see something on top na may picture na pwedeng, pwedeng ikaw or again, pwedeng yung craft mo. Kasi people are very visual. So, maganda lagi na meron tayong image. So, for this, I'll add an image of myself. Let's pretend that I am really so vain. Kaya maglalagay ako ng picture ko. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, let's choose something like this. Okay, mag upload siya ngayon. 
they just Okay, there. And it's up. So select and crop. Kasi meron siyang dimensions na susunod eh. Artiko, di ba? So i ito na yan. Ito na yung dimensions na kailangan ng website. So i-move mo na lang siya. Yan. Crop image. And then, tenen. Ayan, meron na siyang header. So, meron ng representation agad ng sarili mo or ng craft na ginagawa mo. And then, okay. Okay, ito, importante to. This is something that I learned the hard way. Kasi, inaral ko siya talaga ng mabuting-mabuti. Kasi, merong mga, ang pinagkaiba kasi ng blog sa website, sometimes, I have this um, impression in my head that blog can be so cluttered kasi pag minsan pag binuntan mo yung blog lahat ng ipo-post mo nando nakadire-diretso lang sa isang page di ba pero itong static front page ibig sabihin pipiliin mo na meron kang home page na hindi nagagalaw ibig sabihin kung ano yung laman ng ilalagay mo sa post mo yung mga bago mong blogs or bago mong assignment hindi siya pupunta dun sa home page mo i prefer it that way I don't know how you prefer yours, pero ako ganon. So, gagawin, go to static front page, use a static page. Okay? And then, pili ka dito. Front page mo is the about. Para pag pinuntahan ng tao yung website mo, kita nila agad kung sino ka. You tell them something, who you are, about who you are. Okay? Mamaya, babalikan ko to ulit ha, para makita nyo kung saan natin ilalagay naman yung mga assignment nyo. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, pag pinuntahan mo yung website mo, si rootbeer.wordpress.com, ang unang-unang lalabas doon, yung tungkol sa sarili ko. Okay, so, after you've done everything, go to save and publish. Okay, so it's save. X mo na to ngayon. Okay, so you can view your site. Pwede mo ulit siyang tignan. So, ganyan yung itsura niya. Okay? Okay, balik tayo doon. Okay. Siyempre, gusto natin i-edit yung about kasi ang nakalagay doon yung templated ni WordPress. So, ang gagawin mo, go to post, all posts, and then, ay, sorry, go to pages. Go to pages, all pages. Okay, there. Ito na yung about. And then, edit. Oops. Edit. Ayan. Okay. Pwede nating ilagay ko nare um this describes how I journeyed from being a corporate person to becoming to working from home. Of course, dito mo na papababanguhin yung pangalan mo. So, katulad ng lagi sinasabi ni Jomar, you have to tell stories. Tell story about yourself, how you transitioned from being, or how how your work how your work before was, why did you want to transfer to become a work-from-home person. Yan, so ilagay mo dyan. Dito, pwede ka rin maglagay ng picture. Madali lang, para lang siyang PowerPoint or, or Word. So, habang na-type mo na yan, Click on Add Media, and then upload the file. Si pili tayo dito. Ano bang pwede? O, kunwari ito. Arte-arte ko naman. Ito. Depende ba yun sa WP team? Um... What do you mean, depende? Laging meron siyang choice to upload a uh, header photo. Nakadepende lang dun sa theme kung gaano kalaki yung lalabas. Pero usually, meron siyang, meron siyang, ano, meron siyang option for that. You can create your blog at work and you give the website. Okay. Let's continue. So, it's there. Insert into page. Okay. Gusto ko sana mauna yung picture. So, ang gagawin mo lang dyan, i-click mo lang siya dito. 
i-enter mo lang tapos ito yung i-move mo pataas. There you go. Di ba? Andali lang. So, ayan. And then, pwede mo siyang lakihan para sakto siya dun. And then, okay, it's there. And then, preview changes. Makikita mo na ngayon yung change niya. Okay, it's there. O, di ba? Andali lang. So, ngayon, pag kinlik mo to, home. Ibig sabihin, ito yan. Dadagdagan natin ngayon siya ng mga dito. Ang tawag dyan, dadagdagan natin siya ng mga katabi, ang tawag dyan, yan yung pages. There's a difference. Ikaw pala talaga. <laughs> yes, this is me. Hindi ka na nanaginip. Okay. Ang tawag, there's a difference between pages and posts. Yung pages... Yung pages, ito yung makikita mo dyan, yung nandito sa taas. Kumbaga siya yung parang mga navigation tabs mo, yung menus mo na pwede mong i-click dito sa tabi. Okay? Yung posts, on the other hand, I prefer it to be the section for all your assignments. Para anytime na may assignment ka, dun mo siya lahat ilalagay. Para mas organized lang. Okay? Yung mga tanong ba, ayan. Okay. So, it's here. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, balik tayo dito. Magdadagdag na tayo ngayon ng posts. Okay? So, from pages, you go click on post. Add new. Oops. Why is it saying stay on this page? Habay, wala, nawala yung option niya to ano eh. Wait lang. I-refresh ko lang siya. Ay, nawala. Sige, gawin ko. Okay lang ba gawin ko lang ulit? Mabilis lang. This is my journey from... Kahit mabagal, pwede. Ang bagal kasi nung ko internet ko eh. From being... Hindi, mabilis, uh, mabilis ang internet mo. Okay nga, mabilis. <laughs> to working from home. Okay, dagdag ko lang ulit yung picture ko. Na-OC ako eh. Actually, Bea, mabilis yan. Kasi ako kanina, hindi ko kayang mag-share plus webinar ng sabay. Kaya nag ah, ako kaninang madaling araw. Mga <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Tutorial ako. Oh, ang weird kasi nawawala yung dapat meron ditong save eh, dito sa area na to. I don't know why. Publish. Bakit siya nawawala? Ah, pub hindi eh. Kahit yung publish eh. Wala. Ba, kailangan i-verify mo muna. You know, so ah, bad. that's right. Kaso, if I verify, <laughs> malalog out ako dito. Wait, gawin ko siya sa Firefox na lang. Ibang browser mo na lang gawin. Oh. I-off mo muna. Oh, screen. sige. Off ko muna screen mo para sa iba. Ah, oh, sige. Okay. Yan. Inago muna natin ang screen ni Leia para hindi nyo man makita yung mga emails niya. <laughs> And nandiyan pa rin si Leia. Tinago ko lang yung screen niya. Hi guys, so we're waiting for Vea. Um, can you post um if you have questions sa chat room? Hi Jomar, but can you hanap ng bayabas leaves? Ah, kasi may sugat. May sugat ang aking sawa. Kailangan namin ng fresh bayaba leaves pa, bayabas leaves para maalanggas. Ano mo yung term na yun? Yes, yes. Para malibig yun, yung sugat. Naabutan na, ko pa yung term na yun. <laughs> Kaya dito sa kailangan ko yung langgas. Na. Bayabas leaves. Fresh, hindi lang pasta, ano. Bayabas leaves, fresh bayabas leaves. Okay. Oh, while we're waiting for her, let, let me just... Teach, tell you something uh, new about the dated freedom. Baka hindi nyo alam, I'm sure hindi nyo pa alam. There are six new bonuses for the dated freedom. Ano ba yun? Uh, everybody knows the dated freedom is an event. Uh, it's a May 29-30. Kung hindi nyo pa alam, sinasabi ko na sa inyo. It's the first seminar I have for this year uh, for beginners on work from home. So... Ito yung startup seminar. If you're, ano, 
if you if you don't know how to work from home, ito yung first seminar that you should attend. It's a two-day event. Now, it's gonna be in March 29 and 30, pero there's a meetup on May 23. Ulitin ko sa Saturday, may meetup. This is the only seminar you will attend. The tatlong beses kayo mag-meet up before the seminar. And this is the third meetup. If you miss the meetup, wala ka namang na-miss kasi may, down, may videos yan. Pwede mong attend that. Okay? The important thing here is we're spreading out the entire lesson, which used to take me on a day to give into nine days. Several webinars and five meetups. So nine, nine webinars and five meetups para mabagal yung pag relay ng information, hindi kayo ma-overwhelm. Okay? So, para lalo kayo ma-encourage to, to join the Date with Freedom, I, I prepared four, actually six bonuses, brand new bonuses, when you sign up tomorrow or today, today or tomorrow. And the first set of bonuses are valued at 9,100. I just want to go through it quickly. Here's the first bonuses, bonus, the Freedom from Mind Clutter. This is how to use Trello. This is a Orientation by Sweet Reyes, uh, a veteran virtual professional that I trained a long time ago. Uh, second bonus is how to prepare for your last day. Uh, as an employee, enjoy freedom by Jones Mancilia, another exemplary follower who, who came from the government. No? Tapos, ngayon, work from home na siya sa bahay nila sa Makati. So this is how she prepared her last day. So if you want to know, paano ba ang transition, ito yon. Tapos bonus three, uh, which is a brand new skill. It's how to impress your clients during meetings. It's called mind mapping by the mind mapping expert of the Philippines, who manages to do okay, another one of my followers. And the fourth bonus from this set is how to create engaging, which is a very important skill today. Someone doing on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, all other visual platforms. So this is a tool that you can use para mahar kayo no, as a social media manager. Value one nine seven five. That's just the first set of bonuses. I'll give you the second set of bonuses later. After Nivea. So Vea, again, if you want to get these bonuses, you have to join the Date with Freedom as a downloader or as a live attendee. Vea, okay na? Um, pangalan nito. Nina, para saan pa din WordPress paki-explain? Sa mundo natin, dito sa mundo ng work from home, para saan ba yan? Um, okay. Um, we we use work or yung blog mo. Um, you can put um, number one, of course. Um, say something about yourself. Yung about you, what you can do, so that when a client searches for your name, or you can direct them to your to your WordPress page, so they can say so they can see ano yung sino ka na nag-exist ka, na totoong tao ka, na hindi ka, ano, fly by night, yon. Tapos, you can also put your blog posts there. Blog post, um, it can be anything, again, kung ano yung niche mo. Or, for example, you wanna talk about being a mom, then you can post articles there, blog about it. And then, if you wanna put tutorials, if you are, for example, you're, you're going with us, if you are joining us dun sa Date with Freedom, so, may mga assignments doon and um, gagawa ka ng tutorials, you will also use that WordPress page para ma-post mo naman yung mga tutorials. Hindi din siyang ano, website. Pag paid na. I hope I answered your question, Mon. Oh, there. Nikki said, WordPress WordPress blog will serve as your virtual professional portfolio. It's like your visual resume. What else? Good afternoon. Do you have a replay of all the webinar marathon? Yes, I think so. Right, Jomar? We have a replay of all. Yeah. Replays are found in the jhilar.com slash date with freedom. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, okay ka na. Naka-mute ka, Bea. Tanggalin mo yung mute mo. Sorry. There you go. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. 
Yeah, I agreeing to Nina, Nina, cause it spells a lot of difference. Pag meron kang word recite, it tells something a lot about how professional you are. Pag nakita nila, oye, galeng marunong siya mag WordPress. Parang meron ka agad edge from the other people. Pag meron kang ganito. So here, balik tayo. So ito, pag nag-edit ka na, usually merong button here na update. So you just click on that to save whatever changes that you did. And then it's going to be there already. And then as I've said, let's go to posts now. I'm sorry, to pages where we're going to add more pages to your site. For example, like me, I have um, Facebook marketing clients. So, kunwari, um, maglalagay ako ng clients. Maglalagay ako ng clients dito. Okay. Um, list of clients I have worked with. Okay. So, here. Kunwari, Feast Alabang Holy Week Recollection. So, from there, pag nailista mo na siya, pwede mo actually i-link yan dun sa Facebook page nung, nung actual client mo. So, you highlight on the word and then click this, insert or edit link. Hihingi niya ngayon yung link niyan. So, ang gagawin mo ngayon, pupuntahan mo siya. Okay, wait lang. Talaga nakita niyo yung Facebook ko, no? Ayan, daddy na si George Gabriel, kung kilala niyo siya. Okay, you go to this one. And then, ang bagal. Okay, it's here. Get the URL. Doon sa taas, copy mo lang yan. And then, ipaste mo dito. Okay, then title, Feast Alabang, Holy Week Reco. And then, open link in the new tab. I suggest that you do this para hindi siya mawawala sa site mo. Lagi pa rin siyang nasa site mo, hindi may exit yung site mo. Okay, so click on that and then add link. Okay, so okay na yan. So you just continue to write down all your clients dyan. Ganun lang din. Same, same process and how you did it. And then click on publish to save the changes that you did. Ang bagal talaga. And then you can preview the changes here. Okay, click on preview changes. Magbuka siya ulit ng bago. So pwede mo i-close yung kanina. Ayan. So ayan siya, di ba? Pag kinlik mo to, Ayan, dalawa na sila. May home at saka may clients. Yung clients, pag kinlik mo yan, syempre dyan, dyan yan pupunta. And pag kinlik mo to, magbubukas ng bagong tab going to your client. Ayan, ayan siya. O, di ba? Ang galing. Okay. So, ano pang pwede mong idagdag dyan? Pwede mo rin idagdag dyan. Kung kunwari, um, like me, I do Facebook marketing, ah, as I've said. So, pwede kang magdagdag dito ng... Wait lang, close ko lang to, ah. Pwede kang magdagdag dito ng add new page ka ulit. Um, um, digital posters that I came up with. Digital posters. Dali lang to kasi ang ginagawa ko lang, nilalagyan ko lang siya ng picture. So, add media, upload files, Select files. Kru, kru. Tagal. Okay. And then, pupuntahan ko yung mga clients ko. Kunwari si Arun Gog na. So. Okay. Pwede kang mag-upload ng as many photos as you want at once. So, pwedeng sabay-sabay siya. So, click on that, click on shift, and then click on the other photos that you want to upload. Ayan. Kunwari, apat sila. Tanggalin natin tong isa. Okay. Open. Ayan, mag-upload na yan. Sabay-sabay sila. Wait. I'll check out the hangout again if you have any questions. Can you use the free account? Yes, you can. You may Have the page medyo mag- 
So, ayan. Pictures lang. Kuha ako sa isang sectors na walang royalty. And then, yun. In-edit ko na siya sa PicMonkey. So, that's what I... So, ayan. Ayan lang natin mag-upload yung isa. And click insert into page. Okay, so ayan na siya. Pwede mong pagpalit-palitin yung order niyan just by dragging it. So, pwede mong i-click, tapos usog mo dyan sa taas. Ayan, palit na siya, ba? So, click on publish. Ayan, wala screen share mo. Try mo I know, screen wala share siya. Ayan. I think na. Mer meron ulit? Yep. Okay. So, click on update and then preview changes. Bubukas niya ulit yan sa bagong... Ayan. So, ayan na siya. So, pag kinlik mo ulit to, tatlo na sila doon. May home, may clients, may digital poster. So, this is now the crucial part. Saan mo ngayon ilalagay yung assignments mo na kailangan mong i-upload? Kasi nga, di ba, as I've said, ito yung parang portfolio mo online. So, here's what you're going to do. You go to posts, all posts. Usually, pag nagbukas ng assign ng, ng WordPress site, meron agad na naka-draft na naka-post doon. Ito yon yung Hello World. Si WordPress ang gumagawa niyan. So, you better change this kung ayaw mong lumabas yung default na templated. Ayan, Hello World. Okay. So, pwede mong palitan yan. Kung nari, first assignment. First assignment. Facebook Marketing. Okay, dahil ganyan, pinalitan mo siya, don't forget to change the link also kasi mag magsistay siya na hello world din. So, what you have to do is to edit that also. Kunwari, FB marketing, para mal maliit lang. FB, FB marketing. Ayan, para maikli lang siya and then click on OK. So, FB marketing na siya. So, pwede mo nang lagyan siya ng description. This is my first assignment on Facebook marketing. Okay, I'm not sure if Jomar has taught you already about um what do you call this? Yung pag maglalagay ka ng PowerPoint sa loob ng WordPress. Naturo na ba 'yun? Wala pa. Wala pa. Wala pa. Okay. Wala pa. Okay. Hindi pa nila alam pa <laughs> Okay. Pag meron ka ng PowerPoint you can upload it to a site called SlideShare. Slide okay, ito yung SlideShare ko. It's an account, it's an app, it's a program where you can actually upload um, your PowerPoint slides. So, katulad nito, um, ito yung account ko eh. So, makikita mo dito, my uploads. So, meron akong social media marketing through Facebook, saka Pinterest marketing. Madali lang naman yan. I can teach you how kasi eh, pero... Mag maggagawa ka lang naman ng account and then you can upload the file there. Kasi kailangan mong gawin to para mailag, mai-embed mo yung PowerPoint dun sa loob ng WordPress mo. Kasi wala naman, sa WordPress kasi wala naman siyang choice na mag upload ka ng PowerPoint eh. So, kailangan mo ng third-party program to do that for you. So, let's say na meron ka ng account and all. So, ito na siya. Lalagay mo na dito yung PowerPoint mo, yung assignment mo. So, puntahan mo siya sa slide share, puntahan mo yung account na yung yung PowerPoint na yon. And then click on share. Tapos eto, yung WordPress short code lang naman yung gagamitin mo. Ikakopy mo lang yan. Lalagay mo dito. So, automatically pag in-update mo yan, papasok na yung PowerPoint na yon diyan sa loob niyan. So, you can preview changes here. Okay. Ayan na siya. ba Ang dali lang. So, yan. Pag kinlik-click mo yan, nandiyan na yan lahat. Okay. So, again. Ayan lang. Ito yung problema. Yung post mo, pag tinignan mo dito, wala siya. May home, may client, may digital poster, pero wala yung nandito. Na isa pa kung saan mo mapupuntahan to. So, ito ngayon ang gagawin natin. Balik ka dito. Puntahan mo ulit yung appearance. Punta ka sa customize. This is very crucial. So, if I were you, mag-take down notes, mag down notes kayo. Okay. So, ito. Nandito na tayo. Tapos, balik ka sa static front page. 
So, sabi niya, yung static page mo, yung page mo na hindi gumagalaw, yun yung about. Ngayon, you have to determine kung ano yung posts page mo. Yung post page, dyan papasok lahat ng mga blogs mo, lahat ng mga assignments na gagawin mo. So, ngayon, isi-select mo siya. Select, pwede mo siyang... Dapat, gagawan mo siya ng isa pang page. So, meron kang about, meron kang client, meron kang digital posters. Dapat, meron ka dito ang isa pang page na nakalagay. Pwede yung virtual how-tos or pwede my assignments. Kung nga my assignments. So, dahil wala pa siya dyan, gagawa tayo ng bagong page for that. So, X mo muna to ulit. Tapos, gawa, ka, gawa tayo ulit ng bagong page. Add new. So, lagay mo dito, pwede assignments. Siyempre, we can't use assignments talaga kasi siyempre, hindi mo naman pwede, hindi mo naiintindihan ng client mo yun eh, ano yung assignment. So, pwede mong ilagay instead, virtual autos. Yan. So, gawin mo lang yan and then publish. So, meron na siyang ganun. Ngayon, balik ka ngayon ulit dun sa appearance, customize. And then, go to static front page. So, ayan na. Front page about post page. Ayun na. Meron na siyang virtual auto. So, click on that. And then, save and publish. Okay. So, ngayon, pwede mong puntahan yung site mo. Pwede mong puntahan dito. I-refresh mo lang to. Okay. Pag pinindot mo ngayon yan, magic, ando na siya. So, pag kinlik mo to, eto na yung assignment mo. So, anytime na mag add ka, anytime na mag add ka ng assignment mo, i add mo siya as a post, not a page. Okay? Kasi, gusto, ang gusto mong mangyari, pumasok siya sa loob nito. Kasi, pag page ang in-add mo, magkakaroon yan ng bagong tab dito. Okay? So, sa, lagi tayong post para under dito siya papasok. Kunwari, dagdag tayo ng isa pang post. Um, Pinterest marketing. Okay. So, ganun ulit. Dun sa slide share. Puntahan mo siya. Pwede sigurong merong separate na, ano, <laughs> pagturo ng kung paano mag slide share. But this is very easy naman. So, go to that, share again, click on the share button. Oops. Ayan na siya, WordPress. Click on the share button. Nasaan na yun? Ayan. WordPress short code. Copy. Ayan mo siya dito. Pinterest marketing. Ayan. Publish. And then, never mind this. Okay, pag ni-refresh mo ngayon dito, dalawa na sila. Ayan, first assignment, Facebook marketing. Second assignment, Pinterest marketing. So, lahat ng assignment mo, dun papasok sa virtual autos. You can also um, include a contact us form. Although, I think sa Odesk, hindi sila pumapayag na, ano eh, kung mag-Odesk ka, hindi sila pumapayag na meron kang sariling contact information unless ma masettle mo na lahat. I think pwede email address. So, ang pwede natin gawin, dagdag tayo ng isa pang page. Add new. Tapos, madali lang to. Contact us. Pwede mong pindutin lang to. Add the contact form. And then, pipili na siya ng kung ano yung mga information na gusto mong makuha sa kanya. So, name, email, pwede mo nang tanggalin siguro tong website kasi hindi naman. Ah, pwede rin. Kasi kung client mo siya, more or less, papakita niya sa iyo yung website niya. So, pwede mong isama yan, comment. And then, add this to, to the add this form to my post. Ayan, and then publish. And then, balik ka dito. Refresh. Pag inuksan mo to. Yan. Andun yung contact us. Okay. Yung order neto, pwede natin pagbalik-balik ta rin yan. 
Siyempre, gusto natin yung contact us nasa dulo, di ba? Ganito siya pagpalit-palit ka rin. Punta ka sa appearance, menus, Okay. Bakit hindi siya maano? I'm not sure bakit ayaw niyang pumasok. Sige, di bale. Can we skip that part Alam instead? <laughs> Hindi ko siya mahanap eh. Okay lang. Okay lang? Okay lang. Yeah. Okay. You don't need a new menu. It's already good. Yung ginawa mo. Okay. So, pag new site mo siya, yan na yung site mo. So, pag pinunta ni client, yan yung una niya makikita. Dagdagan mo na lang yan. Tapos, andyan lahat ng mga kailangan niya sa'yo. And so, There. Hello. And so that's it. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Bea, for teaching us that. Galing. Okay. Pwede ka talaga. Pwede kang guro, no? <laughs> Alam, Hindi naman. Ka. <laughs> Stop ko na yung screen share ko, ah. Oo, oh, ang gulo, eh. Okay. There. Okay. <laughs> So you guys, do you have questions? Does you wanna get the answer from Rhea while she's here? Wala ako na guest ka nga. Salamat ah, kasi di ba busy? Ah, no problem. It's okay. Is it possible to embed a website into a one WordPress page? What do you mean embed the website? Asin ilalagay mo yung link, parang yung parang yung Facebook page kanina. Probably not a good idea if you want to put an entire site into a WordPress page. A link, yeah. Yeah, yeah a, li a link probably. Because the website is the the WordPress site is like the website already. Paano po maglagay? Paano po mag pa maglagay sa another pages? So ang intindi ko doon sa tanong ni Christine is, nagawa ka na naman isang page sa maraming post? Yan? You mean yung yung pagkinlik mo yung isang page meron siya sa ilalim? Yes, siguro ganun yun. Oo, oh, oo. Oh. Ganun. Yeah, pwede siya. Wait lang ah. Wait. Hmm. Ay wait, hindi pala ako naka-screen share joke lang. Ay, ayan, naka-screen share na pala ako ulit. Naka-screen share na ba ako? Not yet. Okay, here. May nakita kong second na nito. If you start with free WordPress, do you, how do you ship to paid WordPress? Bayad ka lang. Mm -mm. Sa loob ng wordpress.com, punta ka doon, bayad ka doon. Tapos pwede ka lang pumili ng .com mismo. Mm -mm. That's right. Okay. Paano nga ba maglagay? Pwede yun eh. Pwede kang maglagay ng pages under it. Wait, let me figure out how ha. Um, Vea, yun yung kapag yes. buwakan ng page dun sa gilid, merong nakalagay na under what page or category. Pwede yun. Some mm. page. Sige, kukuha ka, punta ka sa pages. Sige. Add new. Uh-oh. 
Tapos lagay mo muna, ano, kanyang sample. Ganyan. Sample. <laughs> Tapos yun sa gilid, uh, may parent. Nakita mo yun sa right side, page attributes. Yun! So, yeah. ilalagay mo siya under this. Kunwari, yeah. lagyan natin siya sa digital posters. Corrected by. There. So, publish. Pag pin-review mo siya dito, Digital posters. Ayan, meron na siyang example. Kaya lang pa ba ba sa lahat? Parang sub-post sub siya. Hindi siya parang vlog na dire-direcho. That's, mm -hmm. that's right, that's right. Teka lang ha, stop ko ulit. Ayan. May na-create ako. Pwede rin yata sa, sa menus. Pwede rin, di ba? Create menus. Tapos after mm. dun ka sa menus. Oo, pwede din yun. Yung parang tinray ko kong gawin kanina. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yung tanong ba ni Charmaine, yun din yung parang question ni Christine? Mm, hindi. Parang, paano maglagay ng related post? I think she's talking about backlinking. Yung nakalagay sa baba, for example, related post, tapos may link. Parang ah! So, dun siya papasok sa... Uh, Doon sa post na area, kung nasan, kung kumbaga, kung sa site na ginawa ko, kung nasaan yung assignments. Mm -mm. Para makita kung nasaan lahat ng assignments niya. Let's ask Charmaine. <laughs> Charmaine, paano ba yun? Para ba makita lahat ng assignment mo? Or related post? Yeah, I think. Related post plugin lang yan. Maglalagay ka ng plugin related post. Will only work pag bumili ka ng WordPress plug. Hindi pwede sa free. Hi. Kamusta na kayo guys? Tanong ni Ali. Madali bang maglipat ng post from free to paid WordPress? There's no lipat. Papaltan mo lang yung .com. Hindi mo kailangan ilipat. Madali lang. Babayaran mo si wordpress.com tapos wala ka ililipat. Ta-transfer na yun automatically. Ang sabi ni Erjan, um, Embedding a Yahoo page. <laughs> Embed a entire Yahoo page into a WordPress. Copyhain mo na lang yung text. Huwag mo na i-embed yung buong Yahoo page. At saka, ano ibig sabihin ng Yahoo page? Ano ibig sabihin na Yahoo page mo? Email address mo? A page mo? Uh, please, bigyan mo ang radio ng website para makita natin. Actually, I found out dun sa question ni Rodney, Kahit free lang yun WordPress, pwede ba lahat ng plugins for WordPress? I actually found out na if you want, kasi si WordPress.com, dahil very basic siya, um, it doesn't allow you to um, install as much plugins as you can. Meron lang siyang mga piling plugins kasi parang fini-filter niya niya dahil pang quote-unquote, pang dami siya, pang mga basics na katulad natin, hindi siya pwedeng mag-install ng maraming complicated na WordPress. Siya na yung inam ng plugins. Siya na yung namimili ng plugins for you. So, kung gusto mong mag-upload nung, or mag-install ng maraming plugins na complicated, ang pwede mong gawin sa wordpress.org ka gagawa ng WordPress. Ay, ng website. Da pareho lang naman siya. Mas, mas pang, parang technically, pang mas advanced lang yung wordpress.org.
yung two sites na na-create, pareho ba silang makikita ng client? Paano kung ayaw mong makita nila yung isang site? You mean, um, pwede mo namang gawin yun as long as you don't present it to your, ano, to your client. Pag, kumbaga, pag nag-pitch ka sa kanya, pag binigay mo yung cover letter mo, hindi mo isasama yung isang link ng isang mong site. So, yung isang site lang na gusto mong ibida yung ilalagay mo. Ano po ang easiest way to add an email catcher sa WordPress account? Um, you can use the contact us form. Yung contact form. Magpapasok naman sila ng email doon eh. Okay, na dead air tayo. So, ha? Balik sa akin, na dead air tayo. Ay, nagsasalit na. Uh, yun. Tama. Tama si Bea. Galing. Gumamit ka ng contact form kasi there's no way you can access the advanced features of a free WordPress. As far as I know, para di kitan siya ng email catcher. Could be wrong, pero alam ko hindi ka pwede maglagay ng email catcher dito. Kasi usually plug in yan para may pasok mo sa loob ng WordPress. Could be wrong though. Hindi ako gumagamit ng WordPress masyado eh pagdating sa email catcher. Nay, free. I don't use free WordPress. I use paid WordPress. So, hindi lang ako masyadong experience sa free WordPress. Tinay niyo na lang. Okay. Tinay niyo na lang. Kung pwedeng umandar yun. Yung free na merong email catcher. Of course, you need an email catcher account first. And yun. Kasi embed mo nga sa page yung code ng email catcher mo. Tapos, hindi ko alam ano yun, Bea, yung wordpress.org. Hindi ko alam na pwedeng gawin yun. Pwedeng gumamit ng wordpress plugins sa loob ng wordpress.org. Oo, mas mas maraming plugins na pwedeng gamitin sa wordpress.org. Kesa sa wordpress.com. Parang sa wordpress.com, hindi actually parang hindi ka nga ata pwedeng maglagay ng plugins doon. Kasi parang si wordpress.com na yung namimili ng plugins na pwede lang. Okay, so pwede na natin i-try. And si wordpress.org ba? Baka naman siya yung manual install to your own server. Oh, <laughs> yung mga lalami. ganyan. Mga ganyan. Ah, okay. Okay. Hindi yan kaya ng normal na tao. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's why I didn't bother to find out. <laughs> okay. Warning. Okay, pumunta sa wordpress.org. Kapang take lang yan. First of all, kailangan mo may sarili kang server. Ang ibig sabihin nun, number one, techie ka. Okay? That's why you can install any plugin to it. Kasi you're gonna be running your own server. Kaya palang options sa wordpress.org, download WordPress. First, you have to get a server. Whether you pay for it or it's free, you have to get a server. Meaning a computer. You can actually use your computer at home to do it, but it's not recommended because you'll never turn off your computer if you do that. Okay, so be beware of WordPress.org unless trip mo man ang split. Okay lang. Okay? Mm. Nuka muna sa WordPress.com. Okay? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, yun. So, ayan, nag-dead air na kami, so I'm gonna assume you guys no? <laughs> Questions for teaching us. Nakaka-flutter naman. Galing-galing magturo. For those who... Yeah, oh, for those who wanna get more from Nina and Bea, they're the two speakers. Maraming speakers. They're just two of the speakers in the Day to Day Freedom event. So, you wanna meet them, you wanna find out flesh and blood ba sila, ano experiences nila, you guys are gonna have at least 30 minutes time with them during the day. 
at least every one of you who attend the Days with Freedom uh, live event, you're going to have at least 30 minutes time with them individually during the day kasi around, around the table tayo ng speakers. So let me just encourage you to di pa kayo sigurado doon, let me just tell you about the last two bonuses okay, for the work for the Day with Freedom na hindi ko pa dinidiscuss. So, ito na po. Didiscussin ko lang yung last two bonuses. Um, yes, we are trying to bribe you into joining the seminar. Yeah, by giving you great stuff. Bribe na hindi pera ang ginagamit. Okay, so, so this brand new bonuses is only for those who download or attend the live events. So, May 29.30. This, this bonus is 9,100 pesos valued na. And available lang siya today or tomorrow. If you buy before today, pasok ka na. If you buy today, pasok ka na. If you buy tomorrow, pasok ka na. If you buy on Wednesday, hindi ka na pasok. So there are two more bonuses I want to talk about. And then you can say goodnight. Okay. So ito yung first bonuses. First bonus na bo dagdag yan. I'm gonna give you a, the top mobile apps you should use in your virtual career. Not, it's not just a list of mobile apps. It's a list of mobile apps na tested at the same time, categorized per career. So pag ganitong klaseng career, dapat itong mobile app ang gamitin mo. And, and these are not the usual stuff na alam mo. Animoto, no, not really. These are the brand new apps that's out there. Na yung iba, ano pa, under the radar pa, hindi pa ako sikat, pero maganda. So these are the stuff that I will recommend that you will use in your mobile pag nag-work from home ka. At the same time, nag-work from laptop ka, nag-work from notebook or work from tablet ka. Kailangan mo ng mobile apps. Now, second bonus, um, the first, this bo first bonus is easily uh, 5,000 pesos worth because it's a lot of research with just finding out which app you should be doing, you should be using. But the second bonus is even more valuable. This is around 10,000 pesos worth. Why? It's the critical and reliable virtual career resources you should read and watch that we already downloaded for you. Okay, my team and I have been downloading this material for many, many months. And ito yung mga dapat yung basahin, dapat yung panoorin. Instead of, bigyan ko kayo ng link, bigay ko na sa inyo yung actual files. And it's grouped by career. Itong, di ba, video career ang piliin mo, ito sa tingin ni Jomar ang dapat mong panoorin at basahin. Dinownload na ni Jomar. All you have to do is to get it. So this is sorted by career. So, easily worth 10,000 pesos or more because it's really a lot of time with us finding out which would be the best resources that you should be reading para may direction ka na natama, hindi ka lalokohin ng website na lupa. Okay? So those are the two bonuses you will get if you sign up today or tomorrow. It's so easy to join. You just make sure, tama ba kang ginagawa namin? Totoo ba kami? <laughs> Pangalawa, pili ka installment or or full payment. Pili ka kung may ka-pair ka, may pair discount. Tapos, uh, pwede kang mag-download, pwede ka din mag-attend. And there are four games ka, may installment pa. So, it's so easy to, to join. Plus, there's a money-back guarantee. Like, everything we've done since 2008, may money-back. So, lang, paano ka matatakot, di ba? This is back by our integrity, obviously. We've been doing this for many years. Uh, Nina is here. Who can attest? It works? Does it work, Nina? Or kinaya mo ba yan mag-isa mo? Hindi. I tried um, applying to Odes before. Actually, kaya naman. Kung mag-isa, pero sobrang tagal, sobrang hirap. Mas madali. Sabi nga ni Brother Bo, di ba? Um, for in, in, in your journey to wealth, you ride vehicles. So, yun. Sumakaya ko ng ano, express jet. <laughs> Kaya skyrocketed yung career. Oh, ito, interested ako. Bea, ano sa tingin mo? Kaya mo ba ito mag-isa? How did you feel nung nagkatrabaho ka? Or nung, nung nag-a-attend ka lang ng seminar last year? O workshop? How did you feel? Um, at first, it felt um, it felt so big. Kasi tinray ko eh na wala akong, alam, wala akong masyadong alam. Gumawa lang ako ng sarili ko. Pero mahirap. <laughs> So, when I heard of other people's story, kung paano nila ginawa, natutuwa ako, ginaya ko sila. Eh di yun, okay na. <laughs> what do you mean by, by you, you tried before? Anong, anong, anong ginawa mo before? Um, during the seminar, gumawa ako ng, kasi 
sinabi na sa akin ng boyfriend ko dati na try mo nga to, tapos sinek out ko yung website ni Jomar. So, bago pa ako nag sumali dun sa seminar mismo, nabasa ko na more or less yung write-up and all. So, gumawa na ako ng account sa Odesk ko. Pero, wala naman. Wala nangyari dun sa ako. Wala nangyari dun sa account ko. So, nung after nung mismong seminar, natuto ko how to really do it, how to really impress your client, dun lang ako nagkaroon after nun, ng mga clients. Ayun, thank you so much for attesting to the effectivity of everything we've done in the past. Um, this is the, may nagtatanong mga bago lang sila, pwede ba next time? Hindi, hindi ko mapapangako sa ulitin ko to eh. <laughs> Hirap backstage ng 9-day event eh. Isipin nyo, this 9-day event, hindi sa 2-day seminar. When you sign up, the recordings will be equivalent to 9 days of, of, of material. Binura ko na siyempre yung part na lunch time, tinanggal ko na yun. Pero my point here is, ang dami-daming hours of recording, pinasimple ko na. So it's very hard to stage something as big as this. So uh, the last time I did this was uh, two years ago, 2008, August. So ito lang yung, I did it again because people were requesting paki-update nga. Ayun, in-update ko ngayon. Last year, I didn't do this. So if you're looking for a, another schedule, probably in two years, and your best bet really is to get the downloadable right now. So it's going to be 14,000 after, on Wednesday. So if you want to get at the lowest rate, ngayon na. Ngayon na. Kumilos ka na ngayon. So wala ka na, wala mo wala sa'yo kung disidido ka na tingnan mabuti ko ano ba tong work from home. Because thinking about won't work. Diba? Nina, Bea, pwede ba yung thinking about it? How long will you think? Matagal. Sobrang tagal. Matagal. Hindi ka naman kumikita habang nag-iisip ka. Yeah. So, yun. Alam niyo ba kung nung narinig niyo sa likod ko? Mga batang nagbabasketball. <laughs> Nasa basketball court ako sa Paranaque. <laughs> oh, where in Paranaque? <laughs> sa Posadas Village. Nasaan ka? Ah, okay. Tomerville. <laughs> ah, Tomerville mo. Malayo, malayo. <laughs> o, yan, yan, ang, yan ang kaya portable na portable. <laughs> so, yan ang work from anywhere talaga. <laughs> literal. Yan ang hinig mga bata nagla-basketball. Binabantayan ko yung anak ko nagkakarate. Uh, so kung ayaw nyo nung ganun, gusto nyo nasa opisina lang kayo. Ano? Sige lang, keep thinking. But if, if you're tired of ano, serving the corporate uh, life, being away from the people you love all the time, waiting for retirement, tingnan nyo na to. Ito na yung pag-asa nyo. Eh. Di ba? The, the moment natanggal na, natin yung commute nyo, kami mo ng time. Commute pa lang na wala. Di ba? So... <laughs> So, yun lang. Thank you so much for uh, attending. If you have questions, you go ahead and ask the Miki. Um, Bea, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, I hope you guys learned. Galing nga, galing. So, you can hear Bea and uh, Nina sa seminar sa May 29. Okay? More there. Okay? See Tapos, you. Uh, take, take na pareho yan, so wala na. And <laughs> learn from him na lang. Okay? <laughs> Thanks, Jomar, for inviting me to. Um, question lang. So, later natin i-share yung bonus or pwedeng i-record yes. na lang natin? Kung, kung pwede ka mamaya, later na lang. Kung hindi okay. pwede, okay. Okay lang, i-teach natin. Sabihin natin, to, tonight, uh, ano, pwede ka ba? Sabihin natin yes. topic kung gano'n. Okay. Since pwede si Nina mamayang gabi, pakisabi kung gusto nyo, type nyo, gusto ko yan. Uh, type nyo, gusto ko yan. How did she get paid? Oh, yan ang didiscuss niya ng ayong gabi. Paano siya nakatanggap ng pera? Okay? I'm also going to discuss the different ways she will get paid on May 30. Pero syempre iba, pag manggaling sa tao mismo, paano siya nababayaran? So you can go talk about paano mababayaran online. Tonight at 9pm. Okay? So thank you very much, guys. Uh, as usual, we don't close the webinar immediately. You can ask questions. Kila Nikki. Okay? So, uh, sa inyo, ito ang last ko. Yan. Thank Get into the day to day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.